Hi, and welcome back to The Crafty Author. My name is Anissa. I am The Crafty Author, and welcome to my quilting room. Today, we are going to be talking about things that I have worked on in the craft room, and I'm going to be showing you all of those items. We're going to talk about some upcoming videos, and I'm going to do a quick unboxing of some items that have been sent to me. So stay tuned because we're going to jump right into this. All right. So the first things that I'm going to show you are just things that I've worked on here. I'm just going to go through this very quickly. Um, and then you can check these out for yourself in my Etsy shop. So I went ahead and I made this really adorable Grogu um, zippered pouch. So this is fully lined. It also has a faux leather um, bottom that I included. I put a little pom-pom with a leather tassel on the key, on the zipper, sorry, on the zipper pull, but you could definitely pull that off and use it as a keychain. So when we open it up, it's fully lined, as you can see. It's kind of hard to get in there because it's, it's, you know, black, but, um, but it is fully lined and it does zip. And I love this because it has this little handle on it too that you can kind of carry along with you. So this would be perfect for like lip gloss or um, makeup or just, you know, if you're gonna go somewhere and you don't wanna carry a purse, you could throw your ID in here, your chapstick, your lotion and whatnot. It's really awesome. So that one is really cute. That's going to be in my Etsy shop. I'm going to have all of this loaded in there tonight. So if you're interested in those, let me know. Here's another one that I made. This is a mermaid um, bag that I that I worked on and made here. And this has this really beautiful bottom. And the handle is also the same. Then when you open it up, it's fully lined with that mermaid fabric. And this one has a magnetic snap closure to it. Um, and I like this because it's really nice for like, if you're gonna put larger items in it, say like you're gonna put some lotions or um, hand sanitizer or whatever, you know, it's not gonna fall out or anything like that. So this is awesome for your purse as well. So there's that one. I'm not sure if I showed you guys these. These are those drawstring bags that I had made. This one is actually in my Etsy shop right now. It has a faux suede bottom on it. And then it is fully lined in pink, as you can see. And it has these very beautiful silk cording um, drawstrings with the cord protectors at the ends. This one is going to be included in my Etsy shop this evening. So again, with the silky gold cording, it matches the bag with the suede on the bottom. And then that one is lined with the blue. Same deal. <laughs> this one though, I did in fabric. I did the handles in fabric and I alternated it so that you have the, the leaf pattern and then the lining fabric in it as well. That one is lined with this beautiful, shiny, shimmery green fabric. I love it. Again, suede, faux suede bottom. And then this one, if you're following me on Instagram, you probably have seen these and I've also posted them in Facebook. This is going to be a set that will be together. But if you have any Clueless fans from the 90s, <laughs> this is it. So this is vintage Clueless fabric. This is faux leather on the bottom of this drawstring bag. It's got the black drawstrings with the drawstring cord stopper. Also included with that is this Clueless faux leather notebook holder that I have right here. It also comes with the leather pen holder attached to it with the magnetic snap closure. This would fit your cards. So there's that. Again, magnetic snap closure for this. It's got the faux leather on the bottom. 
And then, because I dropped it, the pink keychain with the pom pom and a lobster clip and a leather tassel right there. So that will come as a set. Um, it's adorable. It's so much fun too. It's it's absolutely fun. So whoever gets this one <laughs> is gonna be loving that. I guarantee it. So, oh, one more thing I wanted to show you because I'm really proud of this. And this one is mine. <laughs> so I just kind of had some fun um, practicing yesterday and I personally needed a new bag for my chapsticks and stuff in my purse. So I went ahead and I made this for myself. Um, I have this fabric, this flannel fabric that is um, mermaid print. So, and I love mermaid print too, but this is just so cute. So like I have my, my aquifer lip um, chapstick type stuff, my lip glow, um, my lip crayon, a mirror, chapstick. <laughs> I love lip gloss and chapstick. I have lots and lots and lots of it. Um, and then some really pretty frosted pink gloss that I like to wear. This is what it looks like on the inside, it's fully lined. And it's just perfect for this, absolutely perfect. So I use this and I just stick it right in my purse and I have all of my important items, all my important lip items in my little mermaid pouch here. And then I just zip it up and I put it in my purse like this so that when I need to grab something, I just pull it up like that. Perfect, it works out perfect. So we cannot go wrong with that. So I am going to be teaching you how to make this tomorrow. So if you're interested in this and learning how to make this, you're going to need some fabric for your lining. Um, I believe this is a five by eight. So you'll need two lining pieces that are five by eight. And you will also need some outer fabric that's five by eight as well. Um, I am going to be using the faux leather. I will show you what I use for this though. So this can be purchased at Hobby Lobby. It was on sale for $2 when I went in there, $2.50 I think is what it was. Um, this is the Ribbon Boutique Faux Leather Wide Ribbon. I like to use this for these little bags that I've been working on. Um, so you can grab some of that. Here's, here's some of it as well. It's very easy to work with and it turns out beautifully. So just make sure you have enough for the five by eight. You'll need two pieces of five by eight for your outer, two pieces of five by eight lining fabric for your inner. You're going to need a zipper and you're going to need a, some leftover fabric from your lining. Um, to put as your handle. You will want to use fabric for that. Trust me, I made that other one with the vinyl handle. And although it's really pretty, it's really hard to sew over because of the thickness. So I just wanna be honest and upfront about that. Okay, so, and then, um, so prepare for that so that tomorrow we'll be ready to go. I got some new, um, leather for some more handbags, drawstring bags, little pouches, and also notebook holders. I love this cow print. I think it is absolutely adorable. And then I got this, which is some more of that leather. This is more of a traditionally brown, which is, you can never go wrong with that, right? And then of course, I got some notebooks to put into the notebook holders. And I know it's been a while since I've done one of these. <laughs> so um, I got some new tags with my logo with my website on it for my Etsy shop. 
I'm super excited. I am working on stocking my Etsy shop right now. So there's the hat. I'm putting lots of new items in there and I'm focusing mostly on the bags at the moment um, just because we're going into summer and it's, um, it's harder to put quilts in a, in the shop in the summertime because it's so hot. Nobody wants to be covered with a blanket, <laughs> but I will be putting some in there, even though that is the case I am offering up. I do have, um, a Harry Potter baby rag quilt that is available in my shop currently. Um, and then I will be also tapping into my minky and my other flannels and we'll start putting those together as well. I will be using my serger machine. I will be using an embroidery machine, my regular sewing machine, my cover stitch machine. I am going to be using all of the materials that I have in here to put all of my inventory in my shop. So we are going to be making a lot of different things. So if you are interested in learning how to make a lot of different things, then you are in the right place. I will also be teaching you how to start up your own Etsy shop. So I'm going to walk you through that. A lot of you have expressed interest in that. And so I will be doing that as well. Um, I'm just trying to get everything going. So bear with me. Also, I wanted to show you that I got some happy mail. <laughs> so let's open that up. Because as you can see, I haven't even opened this up yet. Um, so this was sent to my P.O. box from Dime Designs in Machine Embroidery. And I am an affiliate for them. And so I want to see what goodies they sent me. Because they always send me such cool stuff. Let's see. Also, if you want to um, use magnetic snaps, I will tell you, I get my magnetic snaps from camsnaps.com. And if you use, if you go to their website and you use my code, um, I'll put the code down below in the description box, you will save 10%. So, just wanted to throw that in there. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. You guys are going to love this. So this is just earrings. So 18 earring designs. So we will be working with this too. I need to um, set up my embroidery machine and we can start making some of that. But I have not forgotten about this design that I have over here. I will be making a bag out of it. Remember when I did this? You all voted to make a bag out of it. So we are also going to do that. And I will be selling it. All right. So there is that. And then we also have another box that came in the mail. Um, again, to my P.O. box. So the embroidery store sent this. So thank you. And... We are going to just open it up. This is also from Dime. Oh, how cool. I love this. This is awesome, you guys. You're going to love this. Thank you so much for sending this to me. Thread. 24 spools of thread. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, look at all those colors. Thank you so much. This is by Dime Designs in Machine Embroidery. Again, I'm an affiliate for them and their link is down below in the description box. And these colors are amazing and I have used their thread and let me tell you, their thread is beautiful. It stitches out beautifully. I used it when I stitched out our design here on my brother machine right here and these are some of these are dime threads so this part right here this multicolored part that is so cool on our butterfly is one of the dime colors and also um so is this blue and this pink in the butterfly 
and you can see how vibrant and beautiful those colors really truly are so yes i love their thread i cannot wait to start using this oh i'm so excited thank you so much all right so that is all that I have for today. Again, tomorrow we're going to start making our own bag. So choose your materials, get them ready, and we will do this. And um, I think I'm going to do it live. So I will go ahead and set that time up and you can join and get a reminder for when I go live on how to make this pouch. And if you would like to follow me on social media, the links are down below in the description box. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to click the little bell. You get notified each and every time I upload an awesomely cool new video and keep on crafting. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.